Have you ever had a time in your life where you had a hard time forgiving someone? I know I have. My name is Kristen Barber and I have the honor to speak to you about praying for forgiveness. Let's take a second and define it. Forgiveness is the mental and or spiritual process of ceasing to feel resentment, indignation, or anger against another person for a perceived offense, difference, or mistake. It's also ceasing to demand punishment or restitution. You no longer owe me, and I am no longer looking for you to pay me back. Thank you, Jesus, that you did not withhold forgiveness from me. Can we just take a second and say, thank you, Jesus, that you've forgiven me. That's all we need to do when we mess up or fall short in our walk with the Lord. He loves us so much. He washes us white as snow. We don't have to pay back anything or work for his forgiveness because there's nothing we could do to earn it anyway, right? Sometimes forgiving others is so hard for us. It's easy to receive Jesus's forgiveness. And so I think when we think of forgiving someone else, we think it might be easier, but it's not. Matthew 10, eight says, freely you have received, freely give, freely you've received all this forgiveness from the Lord. So you freely give forgiveness to other people. This verse alone keeps us from withholding our forgiveness to others. Forgiveness keeps us obedient. It keeps us relying on the Lord and trusting that He will take away those feelings that always surface when we think of that person or see that person. Trusting Him with forgiving others will also allow the Lord to work out some things inside of us. I know I've had seasons where we've had to forgive and Brenda and I have walked that individually and as a couple. And when we do it, the Lord always uses it in our life. There's a time where we had to walk out forgiveness as a couple. And I know that for me, it's a little bit harder to forgive when I see someone hurt someone I love. And so we walked that out in our life. And I know the Lord, I was telling the Lord, we're just sitting in this emotion. We're sitting in this unforgiveness. How do we move past that? And the Lord brought me to Matthew 5, verse 44. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. The Lord used that in my life. It started out as a five sentence, like a five word sentence. Lord, just, I pray for them. And then it grew each week and each month. I was praying for their marriage, for their family, for their kiddos, for their church family, for their work life and finances and health. I was praying for the Lord to bless them. And what that did by praying for them was set the stage for the Lord to soften my heart. And I was able to walk out forgiveness and the Lord wastes nothing for that. I would love to take the opportunity to pray with you guys for those who may be struggling with unforgiveness today. Lord, we come before you so grateful that you've forgiven us of all of our sins and every time that we fall short. And so Lord, with those things that we're dealing with unforgiveness, those relationships, those friendships, Lord, we just put it in your hands and we daily wake up and say, I forgive that person and we pray for them. And Lord, we pray that our hearts are softened towards them, that we understand that they're human beings and that our, our we're not perfect ourselves. So we're not gonna put that standard on anyone else. And so Lord, I know that you're working this out. You are writing our story and we give it all to you. In Jesus name we pray, amen.